One of the biggest myths in bass fishing is that bass always go deep when the water gets really hot. As a matter of fact, this is one of the biggest reasons that we as anglers often feel like the bass have completely disappeared because we're fishing below them. The hot days of summer rob our waters of dissolved oxygen and if you're fishing a body of water that doesn't have much natural movement to it that water is going to stratify or form what we know as the thermocline the water above that thermocline is going to have dissolved oxygen or a better percentage of it and the water below it is going to be very tough for fish to survive as a matter of fact i was just out on the water yesterday doing some filming and i didn't find one fish not a panfish, not a bass, not a carp or anything below the 20 foot mark. I'm gonna give you a visual here that really kind of emphasizes how easy it is to fish in a dead zone. I just laid out a tape measure here along my van at 20 feet. This van is 20 feet in length. Now think about when we're using our shaky heads or Texas rigs or Carolina rigs, whatever we may be doing, how easy it would be to fish deeper than the length of this van. It's so easy to do. And like I mentioned, when I was out filming yesterday, I didn't find one fish below the 20 foot mark. Well, here are three ways to keep yourself from fishing too deep. Number one, if you're out on a boat and you have electronics, go ahead and turn the sensitivity up. What you're looking for is a faint line somewhere in the water column. That cooler water below the thermocline is going to be more dense and therefore show up on that graph when you've got your sensitivity up. The other thing that you can do if you happen to be fishing waters that have vegetation in it, don't fish below where that vegetation stops. The aquatic weeds are going to give off oxygen. And the third thing that you can do is really pay attention to those schools of panfish. They are usually pretty easy to find. And like I mentioned earlier, when I was out yesterday, there wasn't one panfish, one bluegill that I found below that 20 foot mark. So don't go deeper than the panfish. The next issue is not fishing shallow enough. Now I know this sounds so counterintuitive to fishing in the heat of the summer, but if the waters that you're fishing are getting really hot, if you're getting a lot of excess nutrients in the water because of runoff, there's a good chance that you're going to face an algae bloom. Number one, if the algae is really thick, it's going to block sunlight from getting down to the other, other aquatic plants and that's going to deplete oxygen levels. Next is if you start to see brown streaks through that algae, that means it's dying off. And when that happens, it just sucks oxygen right out of the water. There have been multiple lakes that I have been fishing on where this is happening. And the bass that I caught were in less than a foot of water and as tight to the shoreline as you could possibly get. Well, if the bass are in less than a foot of water, you can also visualize how easy it would be to fish not shallow enough. So once again, we've got our lures in that zone where the bass just are not at. Pause just a second and think about that depth. Are you too deep? Are you fishing below the bass? Or have you got a lot of stuff going on that's robbing the water of oxygen and you're not shallow enough? And this third factor is so important. It's something that we just often get ourselves in the routine and don't think about. And that is the awareness level of the fish. This time of year, between recreational boat traffic and fishing pressure, these bass have been bombarded for months now and they are very in tune or aware of their surroundings. They're acting off instincts. Take a look at this summer bass right here. As I got near it, it pulled off of this shoreline brush. It was right on this brush edge, just casually slipped a little bit deeper water, made a loop and went right back to where it was. Well, if we're an angler fishing down this shoreline and we're not being careful, we're making too much commotion, our lures are, are maybe entering the water with a big splash, 
and that bass is like, huh, something's not quite right, we're not even going to know it's there. Now imagine this happening again and again and again, and that's exactly what happens this time of year. We are not being as stealthy or careful enough as we need to be, and those fish are there if we've got that depth figured out, but they are just kind of slipping out of the way and then coming right back. So that strike zone or that distance that they're willing to go chase something could be way smaller than let's just say two months ago. So we have to be so careful on our approach. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that talks about four other factors for finding bass in the heat of the summer, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.